everyone, it's Vendor 719 here. <laughs> Just kidding. And today's video, Inventor 719 is going to be. Uh, so, we're going to be doing a follow up video to my first firecracker in microwave video. And in the first video, we did a few little things, like, you know, a few packs of 16 firecrackers, a few sparklers, smoke bombs, stuff like that. And so, today, we're going to be doing. Uh, larger scale edition, I guess. This is the second of many experiments with the old trusty Kenmore microwave. Um, still got some left over from our first experiment. I don't know if you can see that from there, but it's a little, little messed up. Got a hole in the glass turntable, but whatever. No one cares. So what we're going to be doing today is putting in a full brick or a half brick, I'm not sure yet, of firecrackers. Um, I might as well just do the full brick. So this is 40 packs of 16 firecrackers. I'm going to take the plastic off a little bit so they uh, light better maybe. But also, just because there's no metal on those firecrackers, we're going to give it some motivation by putting some sparklers on top, along with some magnesium strips. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, prepare the concoction now and uh, show you what happens. Okay, so first let's unwrap. I'm gonna take off the wrapper just so there's a higher chance of them bouncing around and uh, being a nice little fireworks show. All right, so just in case you didn't believe me, or if you don't live in the States and know what this is, here is uh, the two half bricks. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. Correct me if I'm wrong. So basically, these are all my firecrackers, and there's one of the packages, and I have 40 of those. And just in case you're real new, let me show you one of these packages. If you open it up, inside you will find a package of 16 firecrackers just like that. And as you can see, we have about 40 packs of those. So we're going to start with that. I'm not going to unwrap them all because you don't really have to. I'm just going to spread them out so they can get really hot really quick. Take off the paper and stuff. All right. And then to help fuel the fire, I've got some sparklers here, which are metal and very flammable, of course. So I'm gonna grab probably five or six sparklers here and just place them on top. Kind of like you would a nice little birthday cake. And then, where'd it go? There it is. Lastly, we have magnesium strip. And if you're not a chemist re-expert like me, I'm just kidding. Um, this stuff's obviously metal and it's also very highly reactive. So we're just going to go ahead and place a nice little strip of that on top. And uh, there we are, ready to go. I'm going to put her on for probably a nice little 10 minutes on high watts. And hope you guys enjoy the video. And so here's what the microwave looked like before. Um, probably should get some uh, Vim on that or something. Anywho, let's turn it on and see what happens. Alright, we're gonna do 10 minutes just in case we need it. Safety first, of course. Alright, here we go. Alright. So what happened there is it has a little like uh, sensitivity sensor telling you like your popcorn's ready or something. So, oh, we're smoking. All right, so there's fire in there, but we're gonna put it back on. I think a sparkler's on fire or something.
Just a quick little update. We have lots of firecrackers left, <coughs> including some full packages. Magnesium's a little hot. So I'm gonna say put them in for a little longer. Actually, I'm gonna add some more sparklers. All right, yeah, so we're just gonna add the rest of the sparklers, probably about 10 more sparklers to help fuel the firecrackers. Sparklers make a lot of fire, so that's always good. I'll just cut out me pushing the button. Oh, we're really smoking now. Well, that's a magnesium. So what you're seeing... So that's the magnesium right there. God. So basically, it keeps shutting itself off for some stupid reason. But, uh, oh well. Let me give you a side view of the vent. When a firecracker blows up, it's pretty cool. Oh, it just turned itself off. Oh no, I think we broke the microwave. All right, we're gonna get right back to this. All right, so we may have broken the microwave because it doesn't power up anymore, but just some quick observations. Um, it's very smoky in here, first off. It smells really bad. Um, we sadly didn't explode all of our firecrackers, but something cool to note is all the sparklers right here managed to crack the glass plate in half. Uh, there's the plate right there, and there's the crack. There's a little crack in the plate. This is the little rotisserie table thing. So it broke in half. Yeah, so there's the half of the table right there. It's kind of hot. Um, and there's the aftermath of 400 plus firecrackers. But there's still some left. I'm gonna go ahead and try and start the microwave once more, but I think for some reason it's broken. So I only give this a 5 out of 10 star review because it was unable to cook when I wanted. Anyway, so let's try and power it up once more. So good news, well, um, I replugged it in and it says please set time of date, yeah. So anyway, we're going to see if it works. Oh, here we go. 10 minutes, start. Ooh. So it looks like we're working again. So we'll try and finish off those last few firecrackers. I'll give you a close-up view this time. Going handheld. Oh yeah, there's the magnesium. See the vents doing their job right there? Close-up. Magnesium strips or something. All right, going, going a little bit further away now. That's a really bright fireball right there. What's going on? <laughs> All right, so we just unplugged the microwave, but apparently there's still a fire inside. Where? It keeps flickering on the bottom right. Okay, so bottom right has a fire, so I'm kind of scared to open it. And I was instructed to turn it off because 
this little bubble in the door. I'm not sure what happened there. See, it's a little bit warped. Yeah, definitely warped. Okay, so uh, I might open it with a utensil. I'll set the camera back here. Just want to make sure I don't open it and something blow up. So I'm just going to open it with a uh, handle of an axe. To be precautious, of course. That would have smelled bad anyway. Alrighty. I'm just basically checking on my microwave. It's in rough condition. The turntable is broken. As you can see. But other than that, there's no holes in the wall or ground that I can see. Um, yeah. I'll show you guys a close up. Close up. Here's the final product. But overall, pretty good microwave actually. Survived two experiments like this now. And I hear cracking of the glass or something, so I should probably sum it up pretty quick. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. The turntable is still in perfect condition. Definitely clean upable and usable. Um, if you like the video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you want to see in the microwave next. Thanks for watching.